here. Say new. And then I'll just move this uh, to the right so I can have some space to, uh, to model this. All I need is the bone graph model in here. So what I need is this that says uh, SD <coughs> over here and the one here and I join that then I have the I which is this one over here and then I have to see I am doing it in the sequence so that the bone numbers become exactly as the one that I have on the paper so this is like that and then we have this one over here which would do this yeah and then we have this uh, element this R element like this which is and then we have the C element which is like this yeah and then finally we have an SF element over here like that and then we went to the interface of MATLAB we go rather to interface of MATLAB and then once we are there our objective is to is to the um, let's see we could just leave that one for now and see the MATLAB prompt so I'm just leaving the bone graph model there because it might be useful but I'm just waiting for the there you go MATLAB simulation in here and what I what I want to say is that when CAMG runs and it connects to MATLAB produces already this file that is oriented towards the state space form in here I think I always have this challenge to to do the to put the fonts in such a way that we can read it really well and so I'm that's what I'm doing right now see there we go so now we can read it really fine look at this file SYM file if you if you look at the file a little down the computer has produced the equations in the Kochi form here those equations will be the same as the ones that we produce uh, just a moment ago if you um, look in here maybe um, I'll reduce this a little in here so that we can we can see um, see that those are the equations that we want to see those two those equations are these two see this this one you say dq7 so this equation is this one and the other equation that you have this one right here is this one see right there it's exactly like this so what happens now is that the computer if you run this if you say um, if we want to run this file say run chemgsym and you run it in, in the in MATLAB in here look here this matrix this A matrix and this B matrix have to be the same as this guys that we just did by hand see um, right there see this matrix this A is exactly like this and this B is exactly like the one on the left but I didn't have to do any of that derivation and I think that's 
that's the point here. Next time we will see um, how we do the simulation using this method. But I think it's important we get to the state space for. Okay, we'll, we'll stop now.